Well, first responders say they constantly train and practice to get ready for events like this. And tonight, they are in a wait and see mode. Now, earlier tonight, as nightfall fell, winds were picking up in McGee as clouds rolled through near the county courthouse in downtown Mendenhall. The EMA director says they do expect localized flash flooding in some communities, but no homes, thankfully, are in the flood zone. John Kilpatrick says they're most worried about the threat of widespread power outages from high winds. It won't take much for branches from dead trees to knock down power lines. That's because last year's drought killed dozens of pine trees throughout the county. Some people told us they were running to stay ahead of the storm. We caught up with one family renting a motel in McGee. They say they were told to leave their mobile home in the town of Prentice before the weather got too bad. It was getting real windy. You know, the wind was getting real high. The rain, it started raining kind of hard, but not real, but the wind was getting real high. When it drifted a little more to the east, you know, it sort of changed things. We were hoping it would even drift more so it would be on the other side, but being on the side we are, we're, we're just gonna be a little bit more awareness situation. And Kilpatrick tells us volunteer firefighters from seven different stations throughout the county have all their equipment ready to go because they will be an important link to storm response and recovery. And county road crews took an early day. They're resting up right now, waiting if they get the call overnight to have to head out to remove trees blocking roadways or obstructing the traffic. For now, we're live in Simpson County, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.